Welcome to Advantage Market Update. Well, the Melbourne market has continued to perform consistently with clearance rates around the 78 to 80% mark every weekend. We've seen again some standout results and, and really showing some of the growth there. Some properties have sold in the last 12 months. Uh, one particular one in Spate Street, Thornbury sold a year ago for 829,000. That same property without renovation just sold for 1,110,000. So 34% rise, which just shows how strong the Melbourne market has been. Um, another little terrace in Myrtle Street, South Yarra. Um, sold for 820,000 and an identical one next door only six months ago sold for 720,000. So the market is seeing some of this growth and strong results. Uh, there's been a lot of press, a lot of speculation about the housing bubbles um, and every man and his dog is having their say. Uh, firstly, we had some economists uh, predicting a real bloodbath in Melbourne. Then we had some lecturers who were working off some scientific methods of working out property values, saying that property values would drop by 9% within 12 months. Uh, now thirdly, we've had the head of Barclays Bank from the UK predicting Melbourne prices are overpriced by 12% and will come back that. So um, no property experts are coming out and making these predictions. So it's interesting that it's non-property people. My uh, opinion is that uh, Melbourne will keep performing solidly unless the fundamentals change um, and we're going to see some pretty strong growth in the, the housing market. Um, I think the apartment market will be a bit patchy and the reason for that is the fundamentals. You know, Melbourne is the world's most livable city. Uh, our unemployment rate has dropped from 6.9% a year ago now to 6%. Our inflation rate is low across the nation. Um, the vacancy rate again for landlords is, is pretty consistent. It's dropped from 3.2% six months ago to 2.9%. We are growing at a phenomenal rate, 100,000 people a year and the strongest growth across the nation. And we're also now getting the, the strongest migration from interstate with 9,400 people migrating. And a lot of Sydney siders coming to Melbourne because we are more affordable. Um, all these things put together, uh, for me, uh, don't uh, show that there is a bubble uh, and that the market has, has potential. But buyers need to be careful because the apartment market is patchy. There's 25,000 new apartments being built. A lot of them are in the CBD and surrounds. And a lot of them are small two bedroom apartments around 50 square meters. And I I really think they need to make sure that we have some um, basic specifications um, and minimum standards like they do in Sydney where the two bedroom apartments have to be a minimal size of 70 square metres. Now group locks purchases continue to be uh, very very successful we've had some great results and we just purchased some blocks in some of our hotspot areas Dandenong and a few in Reservoir and we also uh, purchased a, a blue chip block in uh, Fitzroy North, which has been quite popular. So check out our current and future opportunities on our website. It's been interesting going on and seeing the block and I've, um, I'll be on as a guest judge in this series in Commercial Road, South Yarra. They're already halfway through the uh, renovations and the apartments are a lot bigger. There'll be five whole level apartments, similar to Sky High in South Melbourne, uh, with some amazing views of the city. Uh, so it has, it has been great. I've been mentoring uh, one of the younger couples there who have asked for some help um, and asked for some advice about what buyers are looking for. Uh, the previous series of the block in the glass house saw a great result. Uh, one of the apartments there that the producers kept, number five, uh, was sold um, in December last year for $1,750,000. Uh, that same apartment just sold for $2,020,000. So just again showing the strength of the Melbourne market only six months later, um, an increase of $270,000. Capital gains tax free because the buyer lived in the property. Check out the latest episode of The Great Australian Dream where I give tips for first home buyers when they're buying their first property. Also visit our website for information about our buyer's advocate, seller's advocate, property management and owner's corporation service Services. Until next month, look forward to seeing you then.